What's going on everyone? I am Matt Pendergraf and in today's video I'm going to be giving you all an updated tour of the home gym. So if that sounds interesting to you, you're not going to want to go anywhere. Now as always, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Consider subscribing if you like home gym related content as that's pretty much all I make. You may also consider following me on Instagram because I do post on there a little bit more frequently than I do on YouTube. It is what it is. Another thing that I'd like to mention is the fact that I do have affiliate links for most all the companies that I purchase from. Therefore, if y'all would like to help support the channel, consider using those links over on my website, which I will leave in the description of this video. I greatly appreciate it as it really does help the channel. So with all that out of the way, are y'all ready to start the show? Before I get started, I do want to mention there's quite a bit of equipment and items crammed into this space. Therefore, I'm not going to be going over every individual piece that you see only because I feel like the video is gonna be really long and boring if I do that. However, if you would like me to further elaborate on any piece, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll be glad to do so. So I'm gonna kick things off on this side of the gym closest to the garage door. I've got the Rogue Echo Bike and the Rogue GHD 2.0. Both of these pieces, I love them. They see a lot of use in the gym. I like them a lot. And then uh, over here in the corner, I've got some bars standing up. They do not see any use at all. They're crap. Not even worth talking about. I've got a wall control panel, which I store some monster shackles and then some tools for taking my rack apart. And then underneath that, I've got a rep fitness battle rope. It doesn't see a lot of use, I'm not gonna lie, but it does look really cool. Therefore, that's where it stays. And then beside that, I've got a Rogue 9 bar holder, and it holds bars that I actually do use, such as my Rogue Ohio Power Bar, a Rogue Curl Bar, a Vulcan Curl Bar, my wife's Bella Bar, a Rogue Ohio Bar, and this is actually one of two that I own. This one's the official Rogue Ohio Bar, whereas the other one's a Boneyard Bar. Same difference, I just obviously save money by going with the Boneyard. Uh, da, 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 the Rep Stainless Steel Deep Neural Bar and a Rogue Multigrip Bar. So many bars, and unfortunately this isn't even all of them. Temporarily skipping the rack, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to this section of the gym. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff going on here, so bear with me. The first thing you're probably gonna notice is this blue plank style focus wall that I've got going on. When I first made and hung all these planks, I had painted them multiple colors, such as different shades of teals, browns, grays, Obviously, that is no longer the case. I've since taken them all down, repainted them blue, distressed, and hung them back up. Yes, a very time-consuming task, but totally worth it, in my opinion, as I'm much happier now, which they say is all that matters, am I right? Now, attached to the planks are four galvanized wall control panels. I went with the galvanized mainly because I wanted that raw industrial look that they give off. Plus, I figured if I accidentally scratched a panel, the galvanized wouldn't show nearly as bad as maybe a colored panel might. Not to mention, the galvanized panels are cheaper, so that is a win in my book. As you probably couldn't tell, I have a variety of cable attachments hanging off these panels. No, I'm gonna go ahead and say this, I do not need half the attachments that I own, but I do enjoy variety, and having so many on hand to choose from honestly never gets old. Plus, it allows me the ability to compare and contrast the different attachments for all of y'all, which is usually how I justify any of my purchases to my wife. Now moving on past the panels, underneath you can see I've got a Rogue Universal Storage System 2.0. Yes, I did consider a Monster Mass Storage Rack, but obviously this one went out and I'll tell you exactly why. Not only was this rack cheaper than going with the Monster Mass, I was able to actually get more for my money. Meaning, when I put this in my cart and I picked two dumbbell shelves and the one kettlebell shelf, it cost less money than going with a two shelf option of the Monster Mass. Not to mention, this one comes standard with wheels, which obviously I'm not using, but they come standard. You have to pay extra for it on the Monster Mass. 
Also, one of the biggest deciding factors, this particular rack, it ships freight, which in theory should ensure that it will arrive without damage or at least less potential damage than something shipping ground. Now, as far as the dumbbells go, I chose to purchase a five through 75 pound set from Rep Fitness featuring fully knurled handles and a 105 through 120 pound set of Vulcan's Elite Rubber Grip Dumbbells. So as you can see, I store all of my heavier dumbbells on the Rogue Rack and the remaining lighter dumbbells on my Rep Fitness Rack. Now, I do have plans to talk about these dumbbells more in depth in a future video, but for now, I'm just gonna say that I'm completely happy with both my purchases. So moving on from the rep rack, just above that, I've got a plate snacks banner. And then above that, I've got an adjustable speed bag platform mounted. I can't stress enough how much I love having this thing. I use it before most upper body sessions, especially benching, as I personally find that it loosens up my shoulders tremendously. Now, right beside the speed bag, I've got the Rogue multi-use hanger, which I primarily use to store bands and splitting accessories. As you can see, I've got mine mounted to a distressed blue board because I thought to myself, why would you not mount it to a distressed blue board? Now, next up, I've got the Rep Fitness Functional Trainer. This particular model is Rep's FT5000, which is the biggest and baddest unit that they offer. This monster of a trainer features two 220 pound weight stacks, multiple pull up grip options, and comes in weighing at over a thousand pounds. Now, I hate to use the phrase that this thing is a tank, but I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, I guess I could say this thing is a submarine. Huh? I mean, those things have got to be pretty strong, or ah, I got it. This thing is a Cyberdyne Systems Model 101, or better known as a T-800 Terminator. I'll be back. Ah, that's pretty good. You know that's pretty good. Now, as you can tell, inside of the trainer, I've mounted more blue planks, of course, and I've mounted another wall control panel, which I store a couple of Prime and Rep Fitness handles on that I use primarily with this machine. And directly beside the trainer, I've got a little five bar holder with some random bars in it. And then beside that, I've got my Husky storage rack, which is basically a catch all for all my unused rack parts and accessories. In front of the storage rack is where I keep my Rogue weight tree, which as you can tell, I've got filled up with rep equalizer plates and my Rogue deep dish hundos. And then directly beside the weight tree is where I keep my other Rogue nine bar holder, which contains specialty bars such as my Cadillac bar, a Duffalo bar, the Vulcan safety squat bar, my Titan Swiss bar, a Rogue deadlift bar, and a Rogue trap bar. Now, before we talk about the power rack, allow me to share with y'all an obsession that I apparently have with adjustable benches. So I currently have five adjustable benches within this space, which is ridiculous and quite frankly embarrassing. Eventually, I do plan on ridding myself of a few of these as no one needs this many benches and I legitimately do not have space for all of them. Until that time comes, I currently have a Rogue Adjustable Bench 3.0, a GetRx FID AB2, two Rep Fitness AB5200s, and a Rep Fitness AB5000 Zero Gap. Seriously, if y'all have any questions at all about any of these benches, if you would like me to answer anything at all, hit me up in the comment section below or reach out to me on Instagram. And now, finally getting to the main staple of my home gym, the Rogue RM6 Monster Power Rack, aka the Velvet Ant because they're red and black. I guess it could have also gone with a ladybug, but come on, that's not as cool. Now, I've already made several videos showcasing the rack itself and the various attachments that I own. Therefore, I'm not gonna spend a great deal of time covering all that, but in my opinion, what makes my rack so unique is the fact that I have a 30 inch section in the rear as opposed to the typical 24 inches. And I also have a side mounted slinger weight stack cable station. Now the side cable section is attached to the rack via two 30 inch cross members. And I use 24 inch cross members within the area housing the weight stack as I found this setup to be most optimal for my current space. As far as a few standout features of my rack, you can see that I have the Rogue lat seat and low row attachments, a custom painted nameplate, a surplus strength high pulley, and a pair of Rogue trolley and lever arms, which I also have the articulating handles for. On that note, I decided to store them and my spotter arms on monster strips when not in use. This solution works great and looks awesome in my opinion. If you couldn't tell, I'm all about storage. With all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you're interested in any of this, seriously, check out my channel as I have several videos either reviewing these items or showing a lot of them in use. Alrighty, everyone, that is all I've got for y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a like if you did. Maybe even comment down below as to what your favorite part of the gym is. Or if y'all had the space, what would y'all do differently? Other than that, I appreciate you watching. You'll have a good rest of the day. By the way, I'm very well aware that I talk with my hands. I don't know why I cannot control my arms when I'm talking to the camera. I feel like one of those inflatable dudes that you often see flapping around on the car lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.